Hello everyone, this is Ross here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're taking a look at Yesterday Origins. This is uh, developed by Pendulo Studios and published by Microids. It's av available both physically and digitally and it's priced £31.99, that's $39.99 on the Xbox Store. Right, so Yesterday Origins is a point and click adventure game. It's first look for me, so we're going to play about 15-20 minutes of the game. So let's jump straight into it. Look, it's the Duke's son. No, that's Satan's son. Die, heretic. Kill him. Dwellers of Villa de Fontenegra, behold the power of the Inquisition. No son of Satan will ever escape the wrath of God. Not even he who hides in noble garments. What about between the eyes? Right then. So Okay. Right, there's loads of things to press A on, so let's have a look. Uh, you should thank the hog if it weren't for its shrieks, you'd still be unconscious. Okay. You draw up the prospect of a future ham. When was the last time you ate? Hey, you were in the same type of shackles as the Inquisition calling you a pig. Alright, that's that. Um, it's that over there on the shelf. A piece of cloth is not worthy of a nobleman like you. In any case, the shackles won't let you reach it. The more you see it, the more you think it's the true sigil of your house. Okay. Could it contain water to quench your thirst? Unfortunately, you won't know until you get rid of those shackles. Try blood from a former guest. You better pray to God or the devil you choose. That future guest don't find yours down here. Okay. Um, oh, there. There must be someone observing you from above because when you step into the light. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Alonso, the son of your father's cook. Two weeks ago, we left the Duke's house in search of fortune. God knows he found some a great, a great deal, in fact, but of the worst kind. Okay, so Poor Alonso, when you were children you were both caught swapping clothes for fun. Your father scolded you, but Alonso couldn't sit down for days. Okay, so something about clothes popped up there. On one end of the rope death, on the other freedom. Okay. 
Although he's a bit older than you, Alonso is, or was, your same height and build. How did he die? Was he sick? Forget all your questions and cheer up, he died so you can live. <laughs> That's a bit ham. <laughs> no pulse, but the skin isn't completely cold yet, where well, I said that a minute ago. What's this? A small roll of parchment, strangely heavy. Uh, whoever tossed the corpse down here wants it to replace you as a prisoner. When the rest of the plan is in place, you'll swap clothes with him. Okay. Open a pouch with care. What's inside must be handled carefully. A demon toad of Fruta Negra. The glands on its back secrete a venomous mucus that causes hallucinations. That's cool. Okay, so... What's this thing over here? A torture instrument known as the boot. Very nice. Um, right. Who are you, Miguel, the Duke of Fontenegra's son or the Devil's offspring? Unlike your ducal bedchambers, there are no mirrors down here. But trust me, it's better that way. Okay. Push, drag, bash. Your once elegant garments are now mere rags. Your ability to use your left and right hands interchangeably is one of the reasons why you're down here. <laughs> really? Does it hurt? You better get used to it because from now on you'll be on your knees much more than on your feet. If you're going to stay alive, you better get rid of those shackles. Okay. So. So have a look at this thing. Whatever it is, it fell or was thrown down the air hole and it's heavy. Right. Ah. Let's open it up and have a look. The Duke's son must die, the Devil's son must live. It's Latin. You were never taught to read it, but now you understand it. A small metal object, probably thrown down here to help you escape. The question is how? Hmm. What's that? The, um, selecting what you're looking at is a bit fiddly at times. Using the right stick to move between each available option. You could use iron bar as a weapon if it came to that. Right, is that all? If you want that, you must first get rid of those shackles. Right, so. Can't reach anything else. So, what if. We try using that. Oh, you think it might be a key, so you insert the lock into the so you insert it into the lock on the shackles and get in that's got rid of those. I swap clothes with this dude yeah then. Uh right there. No. Right, well, let's have a look. Grab that. Can I pick it up? There we go. What we've got over here? You remember watching your father's comment to build a similar instrument, but what is it for? Don't know. Old copper. Alright. Okay, so we're taking a bit of cloth. Can we grab that? Yeah, why not? So I wonder if we can free the pig as well. He said it had the same shackles earlier, didn't he? 
So, what if it's dangerous? If a, is a killer hog if you sh unshackle it and do not find a vulnerable play, it'll attack you. Okay. So. What's out here? Let's talk to him then. See what he's got to say. Gather your courage before talking to the jailer. Demand in the name of the Duke or bribe, bribe with riches. Let's demand in the name of the Duke. My name is Miguel de Castro, son of Don Alvaro de Castro, Duke of Fuentenegro. I order you in his name. Set me free at once. Now, now, you're in no position to give orders, Don Miguel. You can only have one father. And your ability to understand every language indicates that your true father. The Duke has disowned you before the Inquisition. This news hits you harder than the rocks thrown by the crowd. You've lost everything you had, your father, mother, home, clothes, a future. No, you still have your will and intelligence. Pull yourself together, you'll survive. Right. Uh, threat and You're right. of Satan. I am the spawn of Satan. So set me free, mortal, or I swear, your descendants will be cursed forever. You swear in vain, Don Miguel. Your menaces don't move me. Unlike the Cretans in his superstitious village, I don't believe in the existence of God or the devil. Okay, so we've unlocked something there on the bottom right. Uh, show interest. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's find out about the pig. Why is there a hog in my cell? Like you, it awaits its turn to be tortured and judged. If only it would wait in silence. Yeah, tell us about the hog's crimes. Cell companion accused of. With sacrilege. The monk who took care of it cut himself with a farming tool. The pig smelled the blood, went wild, and ate him. That's murder, not sacrilege. Ah, were it only a murder, it wouldn't be judged by the Inquisition, but by your former father. The monk had just received communion, you see. According to the church, he had Christ's body inside him. So the Og received communion by eating the monk. And as we all know, taking communion without being baptized is a sacrilege. <coughs> One common of demons is told. This, but ours is a foolish world. Hmm, very interesting. Right. Uh, hog so torture. Then you're going to torture a hog? I will admit it's not as satisfying as torturing a human being, but we all must do things we don't really like. As soon as I finish with you, I'll start on it. Let's finish that conversation. Let's have a quick look about what's in here. More than once playing in the Duke's field, you've pricked yourself on brambles. If your escape fails, you'll feel the same pain, only a thousand times stronger. Okay, so oh, I didn't realise the blood thing popped up down the bottom right with a pig. Got quite a few bits going on there then. Alright, so I'm going to leave the video there for today. I hope this video has given you a nice little insight into the game, what it looks like and what it plays like. And if it has, don't forget to stick a like on the video. Please subscribe if you've not already done so. It does mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.